do a video today about mylar blankets. Uh, great piece of equipment to have on hand. And I want to show you a quick five minute shelter you can throw up this morning in an emergency. Uh, if you can get it close to a fire, it's great because it'll the mylar will reflect the heat right down on you. Um, I'm gonna have to do this one a little differently. Since I'm using my phone, my sound is kind of rough, so what I'm going to do is I'll video in sections the uh, audio on it when I'm actually putting the shelter up. I'll just do that afterwards on my laptop. Uh, you're probably going to see my idiot dog running around in here. Hopefully she won't knock the camera over. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to show you a couple things. Just real quick, quick shelter, quick video. Uh, nothing to it. I mean, if you don't have one of these in your bag, you really should have one. Uh, I'll explain about mine shortly. Just real quick, I'm going to show you this blanket I got. Picked this up at Walmart. I think I paid twelve dollars for it. I've abused it quite a bit. It's uh, held up really well. It's got blaze orange on one side and the mylar on the other. The corners are stitched. With extra backing. They got grommets. Super easy for tying. Uh, this thing I can fold it up, roll it down real tight wrap some paracord around it. It takes almost no space up in my backpack. I've got uh, a couple different things I do with these. One is a shelter like this. Uh, most of the time I've got a regular tarp with me and I'll use it for my roof and I will lay this on the ground underneath me with the metal side sticking up. It tends to ease a little bit of the cold coming in from the ground. Um, one thing I did do one time, I will never do again, is uh, we were camping. It was really cold, down in the teens at night. And I wrapped up in this thing and got down in my sleeping bag. That was a terrible mistake. These blankets are great for heat, but they do not breathe. They don't wick any water out. When I woke up, I was soaked from sweating, condensation. So I wouldn't recommend that. I have done it where I get in my sleeping bag and just wrap this around the sleeping bag where it can still breathe, but you're still getting some of the heat retention. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this shelter up real quick. Basically, I'm going to tie a rope between these two trees right here behind me. Tie this to that. Weight it down in the back with some rocks or a log. Anything will work. Uh, normally, I will take pine bows, make a bed out of it on the ground. Um, I usually have two of these tarps in my bag, so I'll have one of these on the ground as well. Uh, let's get the shelter up and talk some more in a minute. you can hear me. Uh, I try to keep it fairly low. It's uh, a lot easier to keep a little heat in there. Uh, I'll show you here in just a second.
pretty much the shelter. Like I said, five minutes it's up. Um, I always have a hank of paracord with me. Usually a roll 100 foot long. I've got probably 30 or 40 little pieces that I've used for different things. I always wind them back up, carry them with me. Uh, very simple. Like I said, throw some pine bows down. Get uh, some insulation between you and the ground. A good fire going. And uh, I'm telling you, it's a really warm shelter. These... Uh, these mylar blankets with the backing on them are great. It's waterproof. Uh, it'll keep the rain off of you. Uh, I, like I said, I always have two, so normally I'll have one underneath. I'll run that one out underneath me, throw my pine bows on top of that, or I'll put the pine bows down, put the blanket on top of that. Uh, not really a noticeable difference either way. Um, it's a great shelter. Uh, if you look on YouTube or Google, there's hundreds of different shelters you can do quick with a tarp. Um, this one, I, I use this a lot. I, I don't mind sleeping with a little air on me. Uh, I'll, I'll have my blanket or sleeping bag, fire right next to me, keep it up all, the, all night. And uh, no worries, I've slept out in 20s, low 20s temperature and no problems. Uh, it is a good, quick, easy thing. Uh, one good thing about these blankets, that I, like this one that I bought, if you are lost and there's searchers looking for you, you've got a silver side, which aim it back at the sun. It's, it's just a gigantic mirror for the sunlight, uh, great for signaling aircraft. Uh, This blaze orange side, I've walked back to my camp, and man, you can see this thing from half a mile away going through the woods, especially like right now with middle of winter, no leaves, and there's snow on the ground. This thing's really, really visible. It's a, it's a great, sh great little shelter, and like I said, this was, I think I paid $12 for it at Walmart. Really been happy with it. I've used it for a couple years now, and I'm pretty rough on equipment and it's lasted through me so uh, the smaller ones that you can buy folded up in a little cellophane it's just a sheet of mylar those are great uh, I've got one in my pack uh, not great for making a shelter you can in a pinch um, they're, they tear easy that's why I like the one with the backing on it uh, this, is, this has been a great little blanket if you don't have a Mylar blanket in your pack, you really should get one. A uh, bunch of uses for them. You can shred it up and make cordage. Uh, a lot of different things. I've heard stories of people making solar ovens with them, which I'm assuming it would work. Uh, if you're in a desert area where it's hot, flip that over and put the silver on the outside. And the shade underneath is probably 20, 30 degrees cooler than shade under a regular tree uh, this this mylar really bounces the heat off so I think I'm gonna kill this video that one was quick and easy uh, hope you liked it hope you can hear everything better this time I made me a kind of a redneck tripod I'll I'll post a picture of it later in the group uh, working really well though so uh, till next time I just want to show you, uh, once you got the shelter up, you can grab some uh, pine, small pine trees, limbs out of them. I've got a few here on my property I've been meaning to get out of my area anyway, so I've got a few of the smaller ones. I'm just going to whack up some bows, throw down, I'll show you how cozy this thing looks once it's done.
amazing how much this little bit can help when you're uh, trying to stay warm. You don't get something between you and the ground. The ground will suck the heat right out of your body. Like I said, I'm just doing this quick. Uh, if I was more serious about it, I'd have probably three or four inches of bows in there. Neatly arranged. <laughs> but for the purpose of this, I'm just going to get a little bit in there. Another good thing about these pines, even green, if you've already got a fire going, you can throw these limbs in and they'll just, they'll catch right up. Normally, when I do these, I have my fire a little closer because normally I'll put the shelter up first and then do the fire. But I've already had this fire pit here. And I wasn't really interested in moving it, so. It actually is warm in here. <laughs> it's about 20 degrees outside, 25 maybe. I don't know. The sun got out of here a little bit, so. It's a little cool. get the idea. Uh, I'll usually take a little more time. Get all the bigger sticks cut out. I'm just using the branch for needles. Uh, but this will work. Like I said, it's just to get a little insulation between you and the ground. It does a great job. It's a good shelter. Quick. A uh, piece of paracord. The tarp. And you got shelter in your backpack that weighs almost nothing. Uh, that's about it. It's a good shelter. Uh, my coffee water is about ready. I'm going to get some coffee going. Talk to you in a minute. I just want to give you a kind of a quick look with shelter done. Uh, Pretty good pine bows. I uh, could use some more, but I'm not staying in it tonight, so I'm not going to really worry about it. Uh, the little fire there next to it, I'm telling you, this is a, it's a good way to stay warm if you get in a jam. I'm going to try to do a few more of these videos on some different types of shelters. I've got some I'm going to learn. I'm, I'm no expert. Uh, just sharing what I do know. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, if you do, like it, subscribe. I'm going to try to get some more up here in the coming weeks. Try to do a regular thing on this. It's gorgeous out here. A little cold. My phone says it's about 22 right now. But just to give you an idea an idea what it's like in here uh, you sit in here I'm covered fires right there and now my dog has decided she needs to be in the shelter it is Rottweiler approved and probably Rottweiler destroyed if I turn my back all right I'm gonna close up and finish up my coffee and back in the house where it's warm TV time